All right, boys and girls, I have gone through and cut out everything relevant that I think is kind of interesting. I'll try and have this uh, listed in our Discord somewhere, but we're not going to go over gear. That's going to be a separate video. It's 3 a.m., so cut me some slack. I'm still waking up, but let's get into the changes. First up is light attack. So they increase the scaling of all weapon light attacks by 50% and werewolf by 20% and introduced a stat scaling limit on these attacks so they stop benefiting from weapon and spell damage and magic or stamina after reaching 3,850 damage. So it's a cap, which is kind of what Zoss needs to do with a lot of stuff. So it's, it's not too bad. We'll have to see what this really means in the greater scheme when we finally get on the PTS. And keep that in mind, guys. It's easy to read stuff on a paper, but we won't know the real impacts until we start testing on the PTS. They fixed block, so yeah, that's apparently fixed. We'll see if they've not just caused another issue because I think this will be the fourth time they've fixed it. Uh, next up is Dragon Knight, empowering chains of a devastation. This morph now grants major berserk for 10 seconds after casting rather than empower so that's kind of cool empowers a useless stat in pvp so major berserk's pretty strong but i don't know we'll have to see as a molten armaments already grants it in much more effective way as such this morph was renamed to better denote its effects Next up, Necro, Grave Robber. Reduce the damage of this synergy by approximately 47 to ensure it's a similar power to other synergies of its... Oh, okay. Uh, such as... Okay. And then Magsork actually got some love. And it's funny because I've just seen some people saying shields need to be nerfed. They're getting buffed, so increase the damage shield size of this ability and uh, its regeneratives ward morph by 10%. Increase the max health cap of these abilities to 55%, up from 50%. This health cap was never really an issue back in the day, but with how people are stacking health, I'm presuming people are running into shield. Um, actually, no, because if you run more health, this just allows you to run less health, which I guess is nice. Uh, this ability has morphs now dynamic scale between the higher of your max health, magic, rather than only magic. That is that is game changing for Magsork. So you don't need to stack 40k. You can run your average weapon damage build and have 40k health. And uh, yeah, this can. This could be toxic and this could literally game change Mag Sork overnight on how you... I, I dare say Malcolm is probably reading this with a hard on right now. Now, is it enough to make Mag Sork viable? Who knows? And then Harden Ward increase the damage shield size of this morph by approximately 7%. Increase the max health cap to 72% up from 60%. <sighs> you're going to see like 40k max health sorks running around with full weapon damage builds. Mag Sork may have just... Mag Sork may be strong again. Uh, empowered Ward Regenerative Ward. Renamed this morph. Okay, so let's um, get rid of that. Storm Calling. Mage's Fury. Increased the size of the area effect portion of this ability to 5 meters up from 4. So not really that interesting there. Warden. Now, now Warden Cutting Dive, I got super excited when I started reading this and then was extremely let down put. This morph now no longer requires the enemy to be off balance for the damage over time to apply. I was thinking that this was going to be like, they, you don't need to have a range on the set off balance stuff. Anyway, um, I guess that's a buff. Is I don't know. Cutting Dive's crap i don't know if we'll get used and then crystallized shield this ability and simmering shield morph now grants two ultimate when the shield takes damage rather than restoring magic equal to 22 percent of the ability's cost so this could be a massive alt gen maker uh, they increased the cost too by about 500 there by the looks of it 
and then reduce the shield strength of this ability and shimmering shield morph by approximately 33%. So the shield's going to be less, it's not going to restore magic, but it is now going to give you ultimate instead. Wrecking a blow, uh, this is uppercut morph. This morph now also grants major berserk for five seconds. Now it's really time to wreck it. God damn, they cringe sometimes. Uh, cool. Uh, that's that's actually cool. I think Wrecking Blow will get a lot more use. It already was kind of okay in some situation. It, it, anyway, we'll have to test this. Uh, Piercing How and Werewolf Feeding Frenzy. This synergy now grants minor force and empower for 10 seconds rather than only empower for 5 seconds. Once again, empower is kind of a useless stat, so they're trying to give... It's something for PvP, I guess. And then how of Despair. This morph now allows the caster to self-synergize feeding frenzy. Um, werewolves, is that a big deal? I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking been that long since I played Werewolf. And then Fighter's Guild, Trap Beast. This ability and its morphs now no longer trigger ability timers after they've hit a target rather than placing it and after hitting a target. So you can get the... A uh, thing from Trap Beast by just placing it, I guess, instead of actually having someone trigger it. And then we have some item trait changes. Blood Thirsty. This trait now grants up to 210 to a max of 350 weapon damage and spell damage against enemies under 90% health, up from 70 to 350. So basically, they're making the scaling on this a lot less crap. It's going to do a lot more damage up end. Down the bottom, it's still the same. Uh, Bloodthirsty, it, it probably is going to get more use because that's kind of huge. They've increased the base by, what, 300%? And we've got some pretty big harmony changes too. So I don't think we're going to see many harmony builds running around at this point. This trait now grants up to... 880 health, magic, and stamina when you activate a synergy per trait rather than increasing the healing, damage, and shielding potential of synergies by 20% per trait. So, yeah, the, the harmony is kind of dead overnight. Now, with this resource stuff here, uh, I, I can't see it. I think harmony, as we know harmony anyway, is dead. Anyway, boys and girls, there is lots more to cover. Uh, so if you're not subbed to the channel, that would be much appreciated. As I said, it's 3 a.m. I am going to be jumping on the PTS here soon and testing some of this stuff. There will be a video coming later with uh, some testing with the sets and stuff like that because there's a lot of potential for them to be super broken. And this was just a quick overlook of the stuff. There's quite a bit I didn't mention here. So I'll have the link to the PTS patch notes in the description. My big takeaway out of this is Magsork may actually be good. That change to how the shield scales. Now, is it just going to be... We'll have to test it. It, it, might, it might be just false hope. <laughs> anyway, boys and girls, I love yous and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.